Many of us have had or have the major goal to make our first competitive earnings on Fortnite. And if you clicked on this video, odds are you are an aspiring pro who plans to make their first earnings within the next few seasons. Only just a few weeks ago I got my first earnings up the chapter and about a year ago I got my actual first earnings back in chapter 4. Real quick, all the support is appreciated. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so every last one of you I'm very grateful for. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into the 15 tips that I wish I knew sooner before getting my first earnings. Before we get into the first tip, I want to establish that there's a tons of different ways you can get your first competitive earnings. However, by far the easiest way is uh, without a doubt the solo victory cash cups, where you see one win and you get $100 from winning a game in the finals. Where on NA top 9,000 makes finals, and I think on EU around like top 11,000 makes the finals, so making the finals should not be too hard, you just need a few good games. If you need help to qualify to the finals, I have a video up on my channel. Okay, now you know the method for the easiest game mode to get your first earnings in, now let's get into the first tip. Okay, this first tip is actually very very simple. All it is is that for you to remember that it's okay to be nervous. Have you ever found yourself inside of like an intense situation, maybe inside the solo victory cash cup finals, you know, the second you make it to endgame your heart starts beating and your hands get sweaty? Well that's actually totally normal. Even I still get nervous like when I'm inside of like those type of endgames. You know, even though I already have like I got multiple wins in those already. Like I'm I still get nervous. So it's totally okay to get nervous, especially once like your first time earning. Just remember just to take a deep breath and stay calm because when you're in those situations, you cannot help yourself but get nervous. So just remember that it's totally normal to be nervous. Alright, tip 2 is actually one of the most important tips on this list, and it's to eliminate every external factor. You might ask me Zora, what does that mean? That means like, say if you have homework to do, you have to like wash the dishes, anything that is outside of Fortnite that you have to do, make sure you do it before you play the tournament. So say before you play the Silver Victory Casket Finals for example, and you have homework that you have not done, make sure you get it done before you even get on the game. I make sure to do this before every tournament, and it definitely has been one of the most effective tips by far. This is because as you're playing, if you have stuff that you have not done outside of the game, you're going to be distracted on like the back of your mind. Even though it might not be on your conscious, like subconsciously on the back of your mind, it's going to be kind of aching you as you're playing, and it's going to definitely affect the way you play. You know, you might be in a 1v1 situation in the Victory Cash Cup Finals, and you might miss that shot just because you were slightly in a worse mood during that day because you have not done your homework. You know, it's a very crazy effect, but to, but just trust me, make sure you get all those external factors, get them out of the way. That way when you get on the game and play, you can just fully put your focus into it. Okay, now the third tip on this list, I can't stress it enough how important this is. It's to surround yourself with the right people. So it's safe if you surround yourself with like the wrong people, people who are constantly dying while you're, while you're playing the Solo Victory Cash Cup, it's gonna make you more likely to keep on dying and start selling your own games. However, if you're playing with people who are doing pretty good, it's gonna make you kind of motivate you more. It's a, it's a weird concept, but it definitely makes you motiv more motivated to do better in your own games because you don't want to be the person who's doing the worst inside the party. You know, it's gonna kind of push you in. Like, if you're with the right people, they will push you to do good. And, you know, say if you need somebody to coach you if when you're in endgame, they can come to your, um, your join your share player or whatever and watch you play and help you get your first earnings. So, yeah. So, yeah, please make sure you're in the party with the right people as you're playing the Solo Victory Cups. Okay, now the fourth tip on this list is actually a make or break. This is very important. And it's that you're not as good as you think you are, but you're not as bad as you think you are. And you might be saying, Zora, you don't even know how I play. You don't even know how good I am. How are you to say that? Well, what I mean by this is that when you have this like idea about yourself that you're very, very good, you tend to play very over cocky. Like, you tend to play pretty cocky. And I find that happened to me a lot, and I was like, not quite out of the solo cast of opens because of that. I tend to play cocky which is something I have to adjust and make sure I humble myself. However, on the other hand, which a lot of, a lot of you might have this tree actually, which is thinking that you're worse than you actually are. And what I mean by this is that, like, you know your own skill level, however, people tend to, like, get too scared, and when you get when you play too scared, that messes up your whole gameplay. Like, imagine you start a solo victory cash cup finals, but you play too scared, therefore you land on, like, no guns, and you're living at the middle of nowhere because you're afraid to die of spawn. You know, sometimes you just kind of have to like stand on business and just like fall on like maybe even land a POI or just like, you know, be a lot more confident in your own ability. You know, so make sure you have the confidence. Make sure you're like, you're just not like straggling around getting no loot because you're afraid to die. You know, mate, remember that you're not a total bot. So, you know, it's okay to land on a POI or it's okay to 
not land on the sticks and stones, you know, when you're playing inside the Cash Cup Finals. So yeah, make sure not to get overly cocky, but on, at the same time, make sure that you are confident in your own ability. By the way, all these tips that I'm telling you, I make sure to use because of how valuable they are. So just like let you know how valuable these tips, these tips really are. Like, they're pretty valuable if you ask me. Alright, but coming with the fifth tip is that consistency is key. Now imagine these two players, right? Who do you think will make more progress? The player who's playing three hours a day for a full week, so he's playing every single day for three hours, versus the person who's playing for eight hours but only two days in that week. Obviously that person who's playing three hours, even though he's playing less hours in a day, it's because of the consistency, he's making so much more progress than the guy who's playing for eight hours in a day. So what I'm trying to say is my point is that um make sure when you're playing you're doing effective practice and on top of that make sure you are playing consistently because getting earnings will not be something that's overnight. No. It's something you have to put in the time and effort into and if you're really passionate about it, you will. And judging by the fact that you're watching this video it tells me that you're very passionate about Fortnite, right? So you want to make your first earnings because that's a goal of yours. So make sure you're playing consistently if you want to get there. Alright, now the next tip is a VOD review. You don't really have to sit down and absolute VOD review. What I'm saying is to look back at your mistakes. Maybe if you clip some of your Solo Victory final games. Or whatever, you know, uh, dual catches, do a catch or whatever. Like, make sure you're looking back at your gameplay and see what you did wrong. So say if you see that you maybe might be over peaking and then you get sniped and that grieves your entire game. You know, maybe next time stop over peaking. You know, you want to look at your own gameplay and see what you're doing wrong. And what's causing you to end up dying. And on the other hand, make sure you're watching pros to see what the pros are doing, right? So say if you see a pro, um, he constantly looks for a high ground when he's in the end game. Start implementing that into your own game. So make sure that you're slowly taking out all the cons of your gameplay, and then at the same time, you're slowly putting in all the pros of you see the pros gameplay. So all the good stuff that you see the pros do, start to implement it into your own gameplay. And I can guarantee doing this alone within just a couple weeks, you will be very close to making your first earnings, or if not, you will have your first earnings. I can guarantee you, you will see so much improvement by doing this. However, only if you are truly serious about it. Okay, this next tip might seem very, very simple, but however, it's actually super duper important, and it's to not skip warm-ups. Now, I know so many people who don't be warming up before tournaments, they just be getting on as soon as the tournament starts, which is actually very stupid, because Especially if you want to make your first earnings, you want to make sure you're playing as good as possible. And without warming up, that can be the difference between you winning your game and not. You know, it might come down to a final 1v1 and you might miss your shotgun shot just because you were slightly less warmed up than the other person. So you want to make sure you're getting completely warmed up before every single tournament because, at least for me, I need to be warmed up before a tournament. But, like, obviously everyone's different, but make sure you're warming up before tournaments. That's just, okay, like, that's a no-brainer. So make sure you're not skipping your warm-ups. Okay, now the 8th tip on this list is to reinvest into yourself. Now, what I mean by this is that, um, so say for example you have, maybe like, say if you play keyboard and your keyboard is pretty crappy, it's like 50 bucks, you know, and you need a new keyboard, but you still don't have a new keyboard. It's definitely worth it to reinvest in yourself if you know your own ability and if you know that you will make that money back. It's 100% worth it to go ahead and buy a brand new keyboard and see if your controller has stick drift. It's definitely worth it to buy a new controller because in the long run you will make that money back by getting more earnings so if you know you have like if you know that you're pretty good and that you have potential to go pro it's a hundred percent worth it to trust in your ability and to reinvest into yourself and by getting better equipment because once you do get the better equipment it like it's a game changer it really is okay now the ninth tip is to play scrims scrims are actually very very helpful because it's the closest simulation you can get to an actual tournament and it helps you practice your like stacked end games and it's just such like overall such a good way to get better especially if you're first starting out for example like pro player tason like that's one of his biggest tips is just to grind scrims it doesn't matter like just play any scrims to the highest level possible that you could get just play them that's what he really from Tayson's words himself Tayson said just to keep playing scrims and like 100% agree with that you know make sure you're grinding scrims if especially if you want to like get your first earnings scrims is 100% one of the best ways to get there if you need like the discord server links um leave a uh, comment down below and i'll just reply to you with whatever servers you need whether you're on eu na console pc anything like that you know just let me know down in the comment section below and i got y'all with the server links and yeah, make sure I grind scrims if y'all want to get to your first earnings. Have you ever been playing and you're just tired? You know, you just don't feel like playing or anything like that? 
a good chance of that is because of like what you're doing outside of the game. So it depends on what you're eating. So say for I'm not saying to like to be some sort of health scientist, but all I'm saying is like before a tournament or anything like that, make sure you're not really eating no junk food. Try to eat like a nutritious meal and you'll play the best of your ability. You know, like paying attention to what you're eating can really help a lot because you can feel very sluggish and that will really like affect your gameplay. And I found that a lot, like whenever I eat something like pretty sweet before like like some sort of like like a cake or whatever. For example, right, like something that's sweet and high with sugar before I'm playing and I get on, I find it to be playing very sluggish and like very tired. I just find it, I just feel terrible. So if you're trying to like, like ask to do good in the tournament and get your first earnings, make sure that you're eating like a good nutritious meal. You know, like I'm not, I'm not no like health doctor or anything like that, but just make sure you're eating just try to stay away from junk food before a tournament. Okay, picture this. What separates a winner from a loser? Both the winner and the loser both have the same goals. However, the difference is what they input to get to those goals, right? So what really does separate a winner from a loser? Well, let me tell you this. 100% of the time, the winners are doing something that 99% of the other population are not doing. So say, for example, in this business, right? Like, for example, Jeff Bezos, right? He did something that 99% of the other people in the business community are not doing. So we can translate that to Fortnite. So when you're playing, you want to make sure you're doing something that everyone else is not doing. And that will really separate you from the rest of the competition. If you're just doing the normal things that everyone else does, which is like practicing your mechanics and just like silly stuff, you will not get anywhere. You will not separate yourself from the crowd. However, if you are making sure you are doing stuff differently from what other people are doing, and differently, by differently, I mean effective stuff that others are not doing. So, say for example, right, like a lot of pros, like you wouldn't even like, you can't even comprehend this, but they practice their awareness. And that's such an important aspect of the game that people really do overlook and that's what really separates them from the amateur player so make sure you find something that can separate you from other players that other people are not doing whether it's playing like i, I would have just a movement course something totally random however it makes sure it's effective to your gameplay and that's something that other people are not doing and that will really separate you from the rest of the crowd okay now the 12th tip i cannot stress how important this tip is enough make sure you are constantly looking for high ground I'm telling you this right now, high ground wins games. If you want to truly get your first earnings, go for a high ground. High ground is super duper important. And when like it comes down to that, especially the Soul of Victory Cascade games, make sure you're always looking for high ground. Because when you get high ground, you're like you're like your likelihood to win your game it just goes up by so much versus be being on mid ground or low ground. So trust me, learn how to get height because every single that's what all the pros are doing. You kinda of have to look at what the kinda of have to look at what the pros are doing. And then implement it into your own gameplay, right? Because that's what's separating you from the pros. What they're doing and what you are not. So make sure you are constantly looking for high ground. Because that will seriously improve your gameplay by a ton. And I guarantee you that will eventually get you to your first earnings. Now the next tip is to build good habits. A habit is something that you can repeatedly do subconsciously without even thinking. So say for example like biting your nails you don't even you don't think before you do it but you just bite your nails because it's a habit right so in fortnite right for example you want to kind of create habits right so you want to make sure you create good habits and take out your bad habits so a good habit in fortnite could be um maybe always checking how much hp you have before you make an edit on somebody so just in case like you have 50 hp you already have the habit therefore you look at your hp and you see you have 50 hp so you know not, not to make the edit so that's just an example obviously but my point is is to make good habits because habits are the key to success believe me habits are the key to success so make sure you have good habits and that will eventually lead you to getting like to get a lot better like habits are very important habits are really the key to success now the 14th tip is to play your strengths say for example your strength might be the, your fighting ability right when you're playing use your aggression to your advantage because you're such a good fighter right you don't want to be playing your weaknesses when you're in a tournament you do not play your weaknesses however when you're practicing you work on your weaknesses so say if i'm a bad fighter in a tournament i should not be w king because that's the only going to result into me just dying and i'm just going to keep on dying however if i have a strength with playing placement i should be constantly playing placement throughout my games so what i'm saying is that make sure you are playing your strengths i cannot stress this enough if you know you're a good fighter go for it you know use that to get refreshes and things like that however if you know you are better at placement then don't be fighting people that you know that you're not confident in fighting okay now the 
15th and final tip, but definitely not least, is to be positive, you know? You get back what you um, put into the world. So say if you put into negativity into the world, you're just gonna get negativity back, you know? So, with that being said, you wanna make sure you're being positive, right? And spreading positivity. So, what I mean by that is, you know, make sure you drop a, drop a sub button, you know? It means the world to me. And hey, like, you putting that goodness in, to me will kind of reciprocate the energy back to you and you'll get a win out of victory casio finals Nah, but all the side though um no nah, seriously though be positive you know make sure you're, you're putting out positivity into the world you know if, if you all really mess with the video though feel free to drop a sub button i'm kind of yapping right now but my point is though be positive that's the 15th tip and yeah i'm gonna close up the video uh yeah if y'all really mess with the content though drop a sub drop a like all the support is appreciated you know comments or anything like that i'll reply to all comments um and yeah i'm gonna close up this video you know, hope y'all had a great day. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And peace.